Hey guys, it's Lucy and I am back. So if you have been to my channel before, hello you, come on in, take a seat, you know what to do. And if you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Lucy. I am on a running and weight loss journey. I started my journey way back in February, 2020. I weighed 230 pounds. I couldn't run for more than 30 seconds. I looked all over the internet to try and find someone who'd been where I was and achieved what I wanted, which was to run marathons. Well, unfortunately, I couldn't find that relatable, honest runner. So what I decided to do was create the content that I needed to see way back then. Since now, I can officially say that I am a marathoner. I've lost a lot of weight since the beginning of my journey. I've run a lot of miles since the beginning of my journey. And I'm here basically just to be a running buddy. I've not studied any of this. I don't know the science of it, but I'm just here to tell you that you can do it and do you know why you can do it because i've done it watch me struggle watch me moan let's moan together and there's plenty of run with me's on my channel already if you want to go and check those out i am here to be honest and open about the struggle of this journey just like i have been the whole way through but let's get into today's video shall we and today i'm going to be talking about my goals for 2023 i'm actually quite excited for this video um, there's always something really exciting about a new year. There's just a little bit more, you know, get up and go just because it's a new year, you know? I've never really been one to do new year resolutions. When I started my running and weight loss, it was in the February and it, I kind of considered it to be like this year I will start as opposed to January 1st, I'm on it, trainers on, let's do this. But this year I've decided I'm not creating new year resolutions. I'm just going to have... A couple goals. Goal number one is actually going to be my longest run yet and it's going to be my biggest event and it's going to make me an ultra runner which is actually quite mad for me to say that out loud. <laughs> I am booked in in June I believe to run a 50k ultra marathon with my husband. He's going to help me, he's going to come along with me, he's going to push me. <laughs> So goal number one is obviously become an ultra runner, which feels absolutely crazy considering where I started. Um, but running goals, that's what I want to achieve. So after the Christmas, after my Christmas challenge, I did Runmus. Head over to my channel if you want to see. I did a 12 run challenge. A lovely two week break afterwards, but obviously Christmas and New Year fell into that break. And um, I did run about once in two weeks during that break and it was sluggish. It was hard. <laughs> And I did have a part of me that thought, I've got myself in a really good place, what if I lose a bit of fitness? But do you know what? It was fine. I went on a run today, so yeah. So I'm a couple runs in now into the new year and I'm just having a walking break on this one. I'm actually out with Matt as well. No storm today, that's because he had a really, really big trail run yesterday and um, he needs a rest, but anyway. have found that coming back into 2023 and getting my runs done they have been really really hard over the christmas period i've eaten all of the treats and i've had a nice good rest after my run must challenge and getting back into it was something i was really worried about and i did struggle but you know what i'm only about three or four runs in this year and i already feel back into the swing of things so it, if you're worried that you're going to lose fitness if you have like a couple weeks off and you eat loads of food you're not gonna lose as much fitness as you think you are. It really doesn't make a difference in the grand scheme of things. I'm already, like I said, three or four runs in and I feel back in the game and I've booked my ultra marathon. So I definitely, I couldn't have lost that much fitness if I'm happy to book an ultra marathon, <laughs> am I? So, but yes, nearly three miles into this run, feeling good. If you want to see how long this run is, head over to my Instagram at Lucy Shore Vlogs. I post every single run that I do on there and I always make sure to put detailed captions as well. So, yes, check that out. Now, goal number one is obviously to be an ultra runner. So that is what I'm going to try and do. Goal number two, I am going to continue my weight loss. I need to keep losing weight. I really need this weight to ease off a little bit. It's going to help me so much with my running. So at the moment, I'm currently sitting at 181 pounds. I did want to start the new year at 179, but I hit 179 before Christmas. 
and then I started the new year at 183 so I've lost a couple pounds already so at the beginning of my journey my end goal was to be 140 pounds starting at 230 I'm now sitting at 181 and during the last couple years I did manage to get down to 160 and I felt really strong that was me at my fittest and I felt great at that weight so I want to get back to that 160 I was really happy there if I get there which hopefully I do I will continue to try and push on to the 140. 140 is the end goal. Is it the end goal for 2023? Maybe not, but that means if I hit it, it will be exceptional. So, you know, it is what it is. I will be filming a bit more as regards to the things that I'm eating, maybe doing some what I eat in a day. Let me know in the comments below if that would be something you'd be interested in. And my third goal for 2023. Matt is in here putting on the loudest trousers in the world. Gonna keep that in? Yeah, I'm gonna keep that in. I really want to get strong this year. I just want to build up my strength. Obviously, with my goal to finish that 50k ultra, strength is gonna really help me out. So I'm gonna focus on strength training as well as my runs. I'm really gonna try and push myself to do push-ups. <laughs> that is how I'm gonna test it. So at the end of the year, my goal is gonna be to do as well between five and 10 push-ups, I suppose. I'm literally starting from zero. I can't even do half of a proper one. So yeah, I'm gonna be focusing on getting stronger. So that is gonna be my main thing. Now you may have noticed that I have been kind of like fluid when it comes to my goals. There are some people out there that will be, I'm cutting this out specifically. I wanna achieve this at a certain day. I love the simplicity and the the buffer that not setting a certain date to achieve a certain thing gives me. I think it will make make it a lot easier and it will help my chances of success. Because the kinder I am to myself, the better I do on my runs, the better I do with my eating, the better I do just in general. So let me know in the comments below, what are your goals? Is there any races that you've signed up for this year? I know that some people like to book up their year full of races. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button if you did enjoy the video. And I can't wait to carry this journey on with you guys in 2023. I can't wait to hear what you guys are planning as well in the comments below. Make sure to hit that subscribe if you wanna see some more. And guys, I will see you soon with some more videos. Bye guys.